Okay, today I'm going to show you Coloured Web, which is a tool for recolouring the entire internet. Um, to give you a bit of an idea of what this is all about, uh, if we have a look at here, you can see a fairly generic theme, and then when you have a look at all these other windows around my desktop, you can see these are another theme. Um, this worked very well with um, traditional desktop applications, but now we're using the web more and more. This is becoming quite problematic for someone like me who has Erlen syndrome, where different colours um, can be quite problematic for being able to read things, um, and even just uh, being looking at a web page for quite a while. So that's where Coloured Web comes in. So you come across these different things, and they've got all sorts of different colours showing up um, here, and it's all it's branding and it's artistic expression, all this type of stuff. Chrome is an excellent thing for testing this with because it uh, you apply CSS changes to the custom style sheet. That's how I'm how I'm implementing all of this is via a custom style sheet. Um, and it will just uh, show the changes straight away, which is absolutely fantastic for, for my purposes. Um, so, this is Coloured Web uh, running here, and um, all I'm going to do here is actually let's type it from scratch so you can see it actually happen. So, Coloured, coloured Web, and then we go um, Color by X. Um, I envisage having other methods in the not too distant future, but um, uh, they aren't there yet. Okay, so what I'm doing right here is I'm telling it this hex code. This is um, just an HTML hex code, so it's um, uh, an 8-bit red value, an 8-bit green value, an 8-bit blue value. So that's fine. So this is going to give me a colour which is very similar to this but a little bit more pale. Um, so if we go bang, and you'll see now um, the Google web page is now recolored to that. So we can uh, type in blah or whatever and everything is coloured in there. You'll notice that images are left alone, logos are left alone, um, any advertising, that should stay there. Uh, although there doesn't seem to be any on this page. Let's quickly double check that. And my phone is ringing. Okay, so what I was uh, going to check here was um, whether or not there is advertising on this page, because it is absolutely vital that to this project that it does not interfere with advertising, because as soon as I do that, then um, suddenly I'm, I'm going to give um, web designers and various companies a reason to hate this project. Um, if it's just artistic expression, um, stuff it. I mean, this, this stuff needs to be usable, and so that's what this project's about. Um, so what I'm doing here is, so before I specified, hey, we want to color by a hex in there, here I'm leaving that out. Now, uh, that is going to have the effect that these values, the, this, the template is not going to have the values filled in, and that is a bit dirty at the moment. I will make a cleaner way of doing it. But for right now, this works. So if I hit enter, and then that comes back to normal, and you can see that there's no advertising on this page. Um, or maybe they're in the form of sponsored results or something like that. Um, I'm a little surprised to not see any advertising, but uh, there we go. We can actually check this. Um, so what I do is um, I keep Firefox completely unaffected. Um, so let's just quickly load this up and just make sure and that's fine okay I'm happy with that so there we go so uh, let's go and put the color back on and so you can see here that we've got uh, all these things uh, colored up uh, um, in in my theme but you also notice that there are glitches like you can have a look here that uh, that band there that's something which I'll show you how to fix in the next video um, you can see here there's some images which have been lost here I'll just sort of show you what it should look like um, so there are quite a lot of glitches in this um, it's uh, yeah, it's going to be a it's going to be a cat and dog chase constantly, um, just for keeping up with uh, changing web pages and so on. Um, and that is actually something about uh, 
actually no I'm gonna get I'm gonna get to how can you help in a moment um, right so in the meantime um, I need to know I'll show you how to install it so uh, let's get that out of the way for a moment we will go up over to here uh, we now need to go over to the github page github.com and then we want to go um, slash case and slash colored web and did I get that right yay okay once again installing it and we just go joink like so and we can now paste that in there There it is. It's now installed, um, like so. Okay, I'm going to leave that alone for now because um, it's much easier to. I haven't got Chrome installed on there at the moment, so it's much easier to just demonstrate this um, on the local machine, which um, I actually use on a day-to-day -day basis. I've given you a bit of a demo. How can you help? Okay, so. Very soon, I will hopefully be ready for taking pull requests. Um, I will show you how to create stuff which you can put a, put on a pull request um, in a further video. Um, what is really interesting for me at the moment is you'll see that um, yeah, we've got some glitches. Um, I've had to take a fairly hard line um, with the CSS because so many. Uh, all these web pages implement different standards for how they name everything which makes it very hard to actually go and apply your own custom style sheet which is completely breaking uh, the purpose of why it was introduced in the first place so um, what I've had to do is override everything at a very basic level so I'm actually specifying that divs um, have particular values but then that goes and breaks things when people set their transparencies or um, uh, they have things like this where you've got these images sliding backwards and forwards. That doesn't work very well. Uh, so what I'm really interested in is existing standards for this type of thing, for standardizing what the naming should be of divs and IDs and uh, of elements and all of this type of stuff. If you know of existing standards, I'd be really interested to see them. Um, essentially what I want to find is something which I can support with this project and say hey we adhere to this standard if you implement the standard on your website then your website should still look good um, when uh, colored web is applied to it um, yeah so you can see here the images are missing from uh, uh, from this also just to take that a step further, even my own website um, doesn't look quite right. You'll see here now that Jody is covered up because this div here now has a background. I could override that, but then that would... Uh, I feel like that is undermining uh, myself by doing so. Um, I think if I adhere to a standard both my website and also colored web um, then this should work and um, I don't want to be sort of doing one thing for myself and telling other people that they should be uh, doing something different um, I, I don't want to be treating my website as a special case now at the moment um, this custom style sheet is actually generated from a whole heap of special cases where like I've done things for Facebook, I've done things for Gmail, for uh, uh, for Google, for YouTube, all these websites that I use a fair bit I've uh, put in custom exceptions for those that won't scale um, <laughs> it's already, I forget how big the CSS file is, well actually how we can look it up it's 50k so it's not huge but considering I've only got maybe 10 or 20 websites in there at the moment that's not going to scale to like hundreds or thousands of websites which um, uh, or even the millions that we have uh, online today um, I do find that overall it does seem to work pretty well um, let's just go to another random website um, you'll see pretty much everything is usable it just may not look uh, particularly pretty um, 
I'm going to cut the video there because it's already getting too long. Any questions or suggestions about standards would be really, really helpful. Uh, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer as many questions as I can and I will almost certainly do a follow-up video at some point with where this has got to because this is, as you can see it's very, very early stages. Goodbye.